This is Rick Sandberg. I'm a senior applications engineer for Hawkridge Systems in our Portland, Oregon office. And in this video blog, I'm going to cover some of the enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2015 for the routing functionality. 2015 has given us some nice functionality to add ductworks for the heating, ventilating, and air conditioning or HVAC industry um, to the routing functionality. We can do both rectangular routes and round routes. And it works just like any other routing. We can start a route, drag out stubs out of pieces. We can drag pieces from our design library and orient them, pick a configuration, and do normal 3D sketching like we would in most any other route, giving us the ability to add constraints connect up to our other components in our assembly using um, constraints and relations, two dimensions. And because this is a rectangular profile for this duct, doesn't mean that we are restricted to just one orientation. I can do both horizontal and vertical runs of this duct and it knows how to add my elbows or bends into the ductwork using the appropriate size so that it's going to orient properly for that bend. We also have a nice full complement of T's, reducers, expanders, crosses, things like that that we can use right out of the box and get us productive immediately. After I add some horizontal runs to these output vents, I can add some reducers. And notice that it's going to pick the appropriate reducer size in each one of these cases to reduce down to my vent that I need from the, the ductwork that's coming in. Once I have those vent pieces or those reducer pieces. It's all just a matter of dragging out to my exit vents and connecting up to those connection points. And of course adjusting as needed for placement lengths sizes. It is fully parametric and able to make adjustments after we've done our design. And it's fully supported for drawings as well. So I can drop in any view, top, um, right, or isometric of my ductwork and create a bill of material that is associative back to the parts and I know that it's always accurate to my production models. Another great enhancement in 2015 routing is the ability to do cable trays. Again, this works just like any other route, but this one has the added trick of being able to use an open profile for, for my um, route that is smart enough to know how to orient that tray, the proper orientation for my wires. And keep that open profile the appropriate direction. And just like with any route, I have full ability to do all my relations and constraints and do modifications for lengths, whatever I need add my different T's, reducers, items like that to continue my route into multiple directions. And once again, this is smart enough so that if I need to do bends while it's in the vertical orientation, it knows how to do that and keep the cable tray 
oriented so the wires are going to stay in the proper orientation. Exiting the route shows that my cable tray is oriented properly, giving me the bends in the vertical and horizontal direction needed to keep my trays the appropriate orientation for this design. Great new functionality for running wires in a building out to production equipment, network cables, or any other wiring application. This has been a quick overview of enhancements to SOLIDWORKS routing in SOLIDWORKS 2015. Thanks for tuning in.